and welcome guys. I'm Luke Martin with ChopstickTravel.com and today I am in Chongqing, China. So this is the land of some of the spiciest food in the world and this is our first time here. This will be the first video of a series we will be making here and today we are trying out a different style of filming. We're going to be kind of making a vlog walking around, uh, showing you some of the sights of the city, and of course, eating a lot of delicious food. So right now, we are in a market, a really cool market. There's a vegetable market here, and then up here, there's meats and uh, some restaurants and stuff. So we're pretty hungry. It's breakfast time. We're gonna look for something to eat, so let's go. This market has so many, so many different kinds of spices and of course the most popular is probably this here. The chilies, check those out. Oh man, those look good. And I can smell it right now. The smells in here are incredible. We are getting really hungry though, so let's go find something for breakfast. Uh, we need a loda. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, so one of the classic breakfast items here in China is the baozi, and we have ordered up some pretty good looking baozi here. So let me show you what we've got. The first one, this one here is the vegetable bao, Thai bao, and that looks really good. These are nice and steaming hot. Then over here, this is one I've actually never seen before. This is a hongdou bao, which is the red bean red bean bao, so you can see the red beans right in there. And it looks like there must be some egg inside the dough because they're kind of, it's got a yellow color to them and they're super, super fluffy feeling. And then the last one is the classic roll bao, which is uh, meat bao zi. So I'm actually just gonna start with this one. So let's just try this out. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's pretty good. There's pork inside there. Looks like some green onions or some vegetables. The bun is really floppy. Perfect little breakfast. Next up is the vegetable kind. Let's try this. Mm. Oh, that one is really, actually really full of flavor. There's some carrots in there, maybe some corn too. And it looks like there's actually some cellophane noodles in there. And then maybe some cabbage, mushrooms as well. That one's really good. That one actually has more flavor than the meat one, and it's actually a little bit salty too. So, let's try this one. This is the last one, the red bean. And that's really interesting. I've actually never seen one like this. I'm gonna go in right for the side, try to get some of those red beans. Mm. Oh yeah. Sweet, almost like a little bit chocolatey. And those beans are super soft. There's no filling other than just some beans sprinkled on top. That's really good. This is a good little start to our breakfast. Although this isn't very famous in Chongqing, we needed something in our stomach before we eat spicy food later today. So it's actually just starting to rain here in Chongqing. Uh, we're gonna head back to our apartment. Luckily, we rented a Airbnb right inside this market. So go get our umbrellas and then we'll keep going today. We've got a lot more to eat. Okay, so the spot we want to try is right up here. It's kind of like a help yourself sort of spot, buffet style kind of. And we're in the super busy market, but check this spot out here, it looks really cool. I think this market's called the flower market and uh, they have a selection of different dishes here that look pretty good. Um, I guess he said one plate is six, six RMB, so we're gonna load up and look, he's bringing in more food as we speak. 
Okay, we're gonna get some of this Kung Pao chicken. I believe this is Kung Pao chicken. And that looks really, really good. Also, we're gonna get some of these beans over here. Green beans with chili. Oh yeah. I guess it's just kind of help yourself. And then, hmm. Maybe I'll also go for some of this pork belly here. It looks like this, kind of in some mustard greens. Maybe maybe mustard greens pickled something. That looks good. Gonna try that. All right, that should be good for now. Okay, we're also gonna get uh, another Chongqing specialty, which is this here. This is the Douhua, and just check out the size of this massive bowl of tofu. It's silken, silken tofu. So I'll grab some of this. Oh man, check that out. That looks super soft. Oh yeah. Then my bowl here. And then we gotta get a side of chili as well. Some chili. He's got a couple different things. I'm not sure, maybe that's a green chili. It's a red chili. Get this. And a little bit of Sichuan peppercorn, ground Sichuan peppercorn numbing flavor and then maybe a little bit of green onions and uh, cilantro. There. Okay, we are sitting down. We are kind of covered by some umbrellas. There is a lot of locals he eating here. This is a typical Chongqing fly restaurant and we have some really good looking food. So let me introduce everything to you. So over here we've got some cauliflower, stir fried cauliflower. This is, I thought this was Kung Pao chicken, but I guess it's not Kung Pao chicken. These are soybeans and there is chicken in there and some chilies. I see some star anise, um, some fried vegetables. Over here we've got some more vegetables. We've got the green beans. This is the uh, pork belly slabs with the pickled mustard greens and then more of this uh, mysterious dish, we don't know, but it looks a lot like Kung Pao chicken. And then this is the really famous dish here in Chongqing. This is the Douhua, the silken tofu. So it's like curdled tofu and just check that out. Look at how jiggly that is. And then that is served with this sauce over here, which I made myself. Okay, let's start with this dish. There's a ton of soybeans here. Chilies, piece of chicken, try that. Mm. Mm. Oh, those soybeans are really, really soft. And that chicken, that was actually quite a fatty piece of chicken. Those soybeans almost turn into like a cream in your mouth. I'd say spice level, like three out of 10. It's not too spicy at all. It's really good. Let's try this pork next. These are just thin slices of braised pork belly with some pickles. Let's try that. This looks really, really fatty. Mmm. Oh wow, that's good too. That's actually a lot um, smoother than I thought. I thought it'd be kind of chewy, but I must have been cooking for a long time. Try these. Get a nice helping in them. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, those are very, very oily. Kind of slimy actually. We got a lot of vegetables, but it's good. These are really good. Oh. Mm. Oh, nice and crisp. Quite salty. Everything's really salty, actually. Got really good. I like these soybeans with chicken. Mm -mm. Let's try this uh, Douhua. I've been waiting to come to Chongqing to try this, and man, that is just so silky smooth feeling in my chopsticks. Oh, you need to be pretty good <laughs> at chopsticks to be able to eat this stuff, or it'll just completely fall apart. So I'm gonna try to dip this in a little bit of sauce. Get those Szechuan peppercorns. Oh yeah, that's gonna be spicy. And let's try that. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's pretty good. It's actually very faint, light flavor of tofu, sort of that soy flavor but it's really just overpowered with that Sichuan peppercorn. My whole mouth is going numb right now. That's like a six out of 10 spicy whole mouth. Yeah, that's that's really, really spicy actually. But that is super, super smooth. It's all about that texture. Let's take another bite. Try that again. Dip it in this. Mm. Mm. It's really just all about 
that texture. Silky, silky smooth. Okay, so now we are leaving this market. This is such a crazy, authentic, really traditional Chinese market, and there's lots going on in here. Super busy, so we're gonna head to uh, a cable car, which is a, it's a kind of a means of transportation, but it's also sort of a popular tourist attraction here in Chongqing. So we're gonna take the cable car ride, and hopefully this rain lets off. It is coming down in here. So we're just buying one of my favorite things in the entire world, that is walnuts. So there's a lot of walnuts, they must be in season here, so we just bought uh, five yuan worth, and it's a pretty big handful of them, so have a little snack before lunch today for our cable car ride. Okay, honestly, one of my favorite snacks in the entire world has got to be walnuts. They're just so flavorful. I love them so much, so I was really happy to see that they're in season here in Chongqing, so let's try one of these out. Look at those, those are big ones too. Oh, mm. Such a natural, nutty flavor. What do you think of this market? Oh, this market is crazy, <laughs> especially when it's raining. Yeah. The narrow alleyways make it really hard to go through when everybody's got an umbrella. <laughs> yeah, once the umbrellas come out, it is like game over. But Madness. yeah, we had a good breakfast, Yeah. and we got some walnuts, so let's keep exploring Chongqing. So we just took the metro to Shangxian Street Station and this is the other side of the river. We're gonna take the cable car back to where we just came from. I heard it's less busy if you go from this way. But uh, yeah, Chongqing is just a massive, massive city. Maybe you've never even heard of it, but there is millions and millions of people that live here and it is busy and bustling. So let's go find this cable car. Two people, one way. Okay. Thank you. So tickets were 20 renminbi per person. A little bit pricey actually, but hopefully it's a scenic ride. Okay, this thing's packed full and we are off here in a second. <laughs> should be interesting. with our cable car ride. I have to admit that was a little bit underwhelming. Uh, it was only like two minutes long. Two or three minutes long. No longer than three minutes for sure. Um, you really have to fight to get a window spot and if you don't it's kind of hard to see especially if you're tall like me. So I don't know a little underwhelming <laughs> but I mean if you have time I still recommend it, Chongqing. The views were quite beautiful. So we were definitely right in assuming going to the other side, as I mentioned, Shangxin Street Station and walking from there would be quicker because there is a massive line behind me, like huge line. I don't know, that's probably an hour wait or longer. Uh, so if you do decide to do it, I'd recommend do it as we did. So now Sabrina and I are gonna go get some lunch. There is something that I've been waiting to try for a long time here in Chongqing, so I'm really excited. Hey. Okay, so we found the restaurant we were looking for and this place is serving wontons, spicy red oil wontons, a specialty dish here in Chongqing. And this is really cool. You can see right in their steamer room, they've got the dumplings made up fresh there. So we're gonna go inside and order some up. Okay guys, we have our food here and let me tell you, I am so pumped to try this. I've been waiting a really long time to try this specialty here from Chongqing. This is the chow shou, which is wontons. And just check these out. These are just coated in hongyo or red oil which is a chili oil and man I wish that you guys could smell this because this is so fragrant that smell of those Szechuan peppercorns is so pungent coming off of these so this kind here is the beef and then this kind over here I believe is a vegetable and guys my mouth is seriously watering so bad right now okay here they are this is the beef kind and it looks like I don't know, maybe 10 wontons in there. 
and they are absolutely drenched swimming in chili oil, so should be nice and spicy. So let's get one of these guys and try it out. Ooh, man. Oh, oh man. Guys, that is just bursting with flavor. My tongue is going completely numb right now from those Sichuan peppercorns. If you've never had one before, it's honestly one of the most incredible, amazing ingredients I've ever had. It's very hard to explain what the taste is. It's a little bit floral, a little bit lemony, but it's like you went to the doctor and you got your mouth numbed. It's absolutely, completely numbing, kind of tingly sensation. Those aren't as spicy as I thought. It's more of the mouth numbing and the Szechuan peppercorn flavor, which I am absolutely addicted to. It is so good. But also it's a little bit spicy and the beef in there is nice and juicy. Let's try these vegetable ones now. And oh man, these are just incredible. I love that Szechuan peppercorn. Okay, let's try this one here. Mm. Mm. That is so fragrant, ridiculously fragrant. I just, the dominant flavor is the Szechuan peppercorns. I'm actually having a hard time tasting anything but kind of Szechuan, mouth numbing, lemony spice. That is fantastic. Okay guys, those wontons were beautiful. So amazing. My mouth is completely numb, tingling all over, but I love it. They are super addicting. We'll hopefully be able to go back there again before we leave Chongqing. So that's actually going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said at the beginning, this is a different style we're going to try out. Uh, doing sort of the vlogging. We, we want to show you some of our travels too, like here in Chongqing, going on the cable car. That was uh, some fun, but not really. Um, but there was really good food here uh, for the most part. So please, please let me know down in the comment section what you think about this style. Do you want to see more of this? I think we're going to do this for Chongqing and probably for Xi'an, which is our next stop. And the reason being is, although the videos might be shorter, we want to produce more videos and post more for you guys. So yeah, that's it for day one here in Chongqing. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we had a really fun time making it. So make sure to hit the like button and leave me any questions you have in the comment box. And why don't you guys let me know what the spiciest thing that you have ever eaten is since we are here in the land of spice in China. And subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.